What's up gamers? Hey once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Gamer Rebirth the L channel. So what do we have today? Today we have the PlayStation 4 hack or exploit for firmware 5.05 and 5.07. So I will show you two ways of getting this into your PlayStation 4. The easiest way, we will launch our web browser in the PlayStation 4. Of course you had already set up your internet connection. So we're going to select the options menu and then we're going to settings and delete the cookies just in case also clear the website data okay so now that we have done that in our internet browser then we go to http crack bargains backwards slash 505k and then we're gonna get an error and then it's going to think again, it's going to launch it, it's just going to keep on swirling in a circle. And then you're going to get another error. And once more, it's going to swirl into circles and you're going to get this Java error. And then the magic will happen. Easy as that guys, really simple. And then you will know because you will have debug settings. But I wanted to show you guys from the beginning if you happen to have a new PlayStation 4 on 505 or a lower firmware and you want to update to 5.05 then we will use the tool it will be in the description so go get it so that you can go ahead and format your memory card to FAT32 remember to have all the folders closed so that the tool can work once we formatted the memory card to FAT32 we will go ahead and get the update I just want to show you guys that the memory card is on FAT32, so which is good. That's all we need to do. So we will create a folder called PS4 and then another folder, all capital letters, named Update. As you guys saw, I had already gotten my PUP file of 5.05. I'm just showing you guys where to get it. I'll go ahead and leave that link in the description. So we select there and then we're going to select the click to start it manually and then it'll download the PUP file. Make sure it is the 5.05, don't get confused. Then we will connect our PlayStation 4. We will put in the memory card on the right hand side just in case like the PlayStation 3. And then we will go to settings. I'm going to show you the system information. Okay, so this PlayStation 4 is on 4.05. Now I'm going to go to automatic downloads. Make sure you uncheck all those checkboxes. It is really important. We don't want you guys to be updated automatically. So uncheck all those boxes. Now this method you do self host because I don't want to connect to the internet. So now I'm going to update the system software to 5.05. Now you guys will see that it's 5.05 system information. Really important again, please guys remove those checkboxes from the automatic downloads. Okay, so now that we have our PlayStation 4 on 5.05 we connect our memory card to the PC and then we're going to format it again to EXFAT so that we can go ahead and transfer files larger than 4 gigabytes. So we just leave it as it is 128 kilobytes and we format just let it be fairly quick okay if you have a USB 3, it works better. So make sure you have a USB like that memory card. Okay, so now we're ready. So here you guys can see EXFAT 117 gigabytes. Okay, so I have downloaded some package files and I'm going to transfer them to my memory card or USB thumb drive. I really love Dragon Ball Z. I have a copy of it, so I found a copy as well. Okay, so that's all we need to do for the memory card. Okay, so really important guys, 
if you guys can use this method we go to hack informer of course he has a good tutorial how to host ps4 exploit for former 5.05 right from your pc thanks to al asif you know he did this little tool that will help us all so we download the file now it will give you an ip address but that ip address will be from your pc so we will go and set up a network on the PlayStation 4. Now it'll work for 5.05 and 5.07. If it's above those firmwares, 5.07, then you're out of luck, guys. I'm sorry, but the developers always seem to amaze us. So we will go to the user guide and that's where we will launch the exploit. And then you can pick whatever you need to do. So we're going to launch the tool. We launch the EXE okay look at that it gives us our ip address that's from our pc so it's hosting it already and then we will go to our user you can create one or you can use the same one you have we go to settings we go to network check the connect to the internet checkbox set up internet connection use Wi-Fi since I'm using Wi-Fi and I'm gonna select custom and I'm gonna choose my network so for the IP address I'm gonna select automatically the HTTP hostname just go forward and then primary DNS you're gonna enter 192.168.0.1 it is actually the IP address that the tool gives you so it might be different for you you will need to enter it in the primary DNS and the secondary DNS the same as you guys can see 192.168.0.17 that's all what we need to do we just click next and then automatic we do not use the proxy server we test the internet connection you guys can see my network name internet connection failed which is great we don't want to be connected to the internet so now we will go to the user guide and help info then user guide and you guys will see that now we're self hosting and we select our former 5.05 and we're going to select Mira. We just let it loop how we did in the beginning. And then we're gonna get that we didn't don't have enough memory. It's gonna do it again, and then we're all set, guys. That's all. It is really simple. This is great. Developers really they just make our life even better with their exploits and hard work they do so thank him and you guys will see debug settings we select it now if we want to install packages we just go to game and then package installer and then if you have already some packages then you just select install all and then it'll install them a good page to go is PSX Hacks. Go over there and they have packages, examples. So now let's try. This game is amazing. Now, if it gives you the update prompt, just put update later. Look at that, guys. Amazing. Now I can practice so that anybody can go ahead and challenge me later on. I am ready. It runs really smooth, it's flawless. I had never played this game. I wanted it to play for so long. I have one and have not even opened it, but I wanted to do this tutorial for you guys. Please, please, if you guys use this method, it is greatly recommended. I just love these graphics, look at that. So guys, if this helped, remember to hit like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. As always, Gamer Rebirth, out.